to Sunday. Good morning, piggies. Right, so last night I had another switch around. Sparkle is being really mean to Elsa and the piggies. Oh, there's a bee. Hello, bee. Last night I had to move poor old Elsa in here. Sparkle is being so mean and I didn't like it. So I've put Onyx in the rabbit tree. Sparkle's actually ended up being locked in a hutch because she was being mean to the piggies. Um, so I'm gonna put Elsa back. I'm gonna bring Sparkle into here because um, Elsa is very laid back and will be fine with the piggies. So anyway, that's what happened last night, but um, we will get that all sorted today and they're all looking good. Do you want some food Elsa? Yeah. So there we go. Elsa's here, Cookie's here. Onyx is still being a bully. So he's been put in there. And the baby bunnies are all good. Look at them all squished up. I've done their water, so they just need their food. And we're hungry, aren't we guys? Oh, we're so hungry we're eating the hutch apparently. Right, empty out the bowl. They've emptied out their gravity feeder, so I need to fill that up as well. But let's start with the bowl. If I can get to it, Mama. Thank you. to open up this hutch now because it broke. Good morning everybody. Little monsters. Aren't ya? Hey? Aren't ya? Looking down the feeder again because you're just so hungry, I know. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to, they've obviously peed in their bowl. I was trying to empty it and they, one of them's got covered in it. <laughs> right, let's get them some food. Okay, there we go. Gravity feeder's all filled up. Bowl back. Beep beep. <laughs> so cute. They're so fluffy. <laughs> as much as I love the Rex fur, fluffy baby bunnies are just the best. Right, so I just need to fill up this gravity feeder. Right, okay, so that's everyone fed. Maui, the quail, we've all got food and water, they're all good. Oh dear, I've only filled the water again, it's dripping, but that's okay. Um, Elsa and Cookie can just relax a bit now without the constant pestering of Onyx and Sparkle. Right, so that's everyone done for the morning. I'm now going to head inside and make my breakfast. Here's Sparkle in here. Not very happy about it, but that's what happens when you're a meanie. And she got me on the way over too. <laughs> she wasn't very happy with me, but I've got to protect everyone. And if you're going to be a big bully, we can't have that, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know you're a sweet bunny. You're just not sweet to everyone else. You like your space. Some rabbits need to be in hutches and that's okay. I'll see you later. Pancakes for breakfast, yay! It's one of those mini tasks I've been planning on doing. Hay racks for the bubbers and the mamas. So one in there, one in with Ella, and everyone is enjoying the hay. Yep, I think that's gonna be really good. Now I just want to put one, a hay rack in this bit here so that these guys can have some hay too. And when all these babies are running around, I'll have somewhere for, to put hay for them. <laughs> Already loving it. And nothing fancy, but it will stop them climbing all over it and toileting on it. I think this will be good. Just have to wait and see how it goes. But Elsa likes it already. <laughs> this is how the darkling beetle or the mealworm beetles get their drinks. Just sort of chew away at it. Happy Monday everybody. Just 
getting started so sparkle really wants out of here but if you're gonna be a bully you can't share the space can you no i'll get you some breakfast the piggies are all doing good quick chicken carla's hiding over here she's good you want some breakfast yeah how's it going you can't eat the phone <laughs> right let's get some food yeah quite a bit of rain last night but everyone's got shelter from the weather so that's okay chicks are all all right Oops. a bit blurry See, so they're all okay. They've got food, they've got water. Um, I don't think there's any eggs yet. I haven't found any eggs. But they're all doing really nicely. Which is good. The Celadon Quail are doing all right. <laughs> Come in hiding again. Hi. Let's have a look at our Italian Quail. So. <clears throat> These guys are the only ones that sort of get fully covered along with the rabbits. They're all good, ready for some breakfast, I think. Cookie enjoying the new hay rack. <laughs> well. That is not how you're supposed to eat the hay. <laughs> you little monster, what are you doing? <laughs> oh dear me. Oh dear me. Well, definitely the hay's a hit, so that's good. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah. Food. This one's trying to eat the hutch. Little monsters. That's what you are, isn't it, eh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, these ones have knocked their hay rack down and climbed in it. I mean, what do you say to that? <laughs> come out to put everyone away it is um, Monday evening and I found this excuse me guys got our first eggs another one here who is it there so exciting beautiful this one's got a bit of a crack in it I think but if that continues, I mean, that's really pretty. <laughs> During tonight's checkup, I found this poor lady. Now, she is really not in a good way. Someone has beaten her up very, very harshly. Um, so for the moment I've separated her with into the top of the Italian quail and blocked everyone else off. I don't have anywhere else to put her at the moment. Um, and I just have to hope that she can pull through. She's got food, she's got water, and she's away from all the others that were trying to hurt her, so. Poor sweet girl. Her head and her neck. 
this say girl, it could be a boy. Um, it could be that the boys didn't like him and have been going after him. I don't know, but whatever it is, I hope I can save him. So for tonight, I'm going to leave him in here with food and water and we'll see how well he does. Right, I'm going to say goodnight to these guys. Good night, everybody. I shall see you in the morning, okay? <laughs> good morning. It is Wednesday. Everyone's looking good. This poor love that got hurt. She's still with us. She's still going strong. Um, I'm just going to sprinkle some food out for her with her neck the way it is. She might not want to put her head in there, which is fair enough. But she looks like she's on the mend. She is moving around. She's definitely drinking some. It will obviously take a while for her to be fully healed, but honestly, the way these quail bounce back is absolutely incredible. But anyway, that's the update on this sweet one today. She's looking good, or he, I still don't know for sure. Being a pied, it's hard to tell. Of course, these poor Italians all stuck in on the same row. It's not perfect, but you know, they'll be fine. Top of their feet. They love it when I do that. They don't have to reach up then. <laughs> you get a bit lazy, don't you? Goodness gracious, those chicks are mad. Uh, have you got any eggs behind you? I can't see any. Okay. No. Trying to escape again. Hey everybody, it is Thursday. And has got her breakfast and some spinach. Let's check in on the bugs. How are you all doing, bugs? There's quite a few in there now. So I'm going to need to do another clean up just to make sure that we haven't there's not too many dead bugs in there because we don't want them just sitting in there the um egg tray definitely still moving around but there's nothing visible in the way of mealworms yet so they obviously still have some growing to do this bottom tray is getting nice and full of bugs so the last of my original mealworms i've just left in here and they've been pupating and then obviously come, coming out as the beetles. So I'm just leaving them in here for now. Better take that bit of carrot out, that's not looking very nice. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave them in here to do their thing and then I will sift through them and keep anything that falls through, move people about as it goes. But the new one farm is doing good. So my plants are holding on as much as they can. They just really need to get outside. My peas. They really need to get outside where they can have the real space to grow because I've got big buckets for them to grow in and up trellises and everything like that. So oh, it's just a case of waiting for this weather to sort itself out. So it might be a project for the weekend where I can just get everything out into the big buckets and just hope that they grow and it doesn't get too cold in between. Hello piggies, how are we all doing? Looks like again, we're ready for a clean out. So we've still got sparkle down here in the bottom hutch. These guys are hungry. Good morning. <laughs> Let me know, says Carla. She always hides till the very last moment. It sort of seems to me that guinea pigs, as they get older, they calm down, they get used to you. It just takes a long time. Because I mean, these three, oh, well, these three actually grew up inside with us, so they were used to all the hustle and bustle. Whereas Carla was born and bred out here and has lived outside ever since. We handle her, we love on her, but she doesn't come to the door like the three adults do. Let's get you guys some pellets. Hungry Sparkle? Yeah. Now that I'm giving everyone hay, the mess gets a lot worse. A lot quicker. <laughs> but everyone's looking good. All the hutches full of babies, they really need to be separated. The quail are doing all right. And it started raining on me. 
Hi, cookies. What are you like in the chick run? They're doing okay. They definitely need a clean up and a loud quail. <laughs> so I'll just grab that egg. Hello again, quail. Still getting on nicely. Got some nice eggs. Just one that I can see today. But these three, I think, can stay together now. They're getting on quite well. Hopefully I can hatch some eggs out soon. I noticed something looking out of the window this morning. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find it now. But my fruit tree here. All the little fruits growing quite nicely. My tree here. Let's come out this side. Definitely growing some fruit here. So yeah, just I thought I would have lost them all, but it looks like they might be doing okay, which is really exciting. So these babies are all doing great. Munching their breakfast. Yeah, hi Bella. So gorgeous. Hey favourite. It looks like favourite's a boy. So even if I did have space for one more, I can't really keep the boys. <laughs> But very, very sweet, growing nice and quickly. Got lots of hay, lots of pellets. That's them done for the day. Hi, Maui. I've moved all of the males that are obviously male. <laughs> Some colours are really easy to see so I've moved them over here so that they are away from all the girls and hopefully not quite as violent how's everyone else doing oh onyx hey cookie oh and there's Elsa having her snack oh we're gonna have to clean you up aren't we Maui baby bunny dinky Let's go around and see how these guys are doing. So I've got, in theory, mostly females in here now. I'm not 100%, but like I say, in theory. So this egg's already broken, so they can eat that. And look. Cool. Get out. But generally things seem a lot calmer here now. It's just a case of watch, wait and see how everyone's doing. That one in the corner that was pecking the brown one here, that's because that one has been beaten up. It's just protecting itself, being on guard. There's another egg over the back there. We can't see it because the Italians are annoyed. There it is. So this one here, might be male but it's all a case of waiting and seeing because it's a pied so I'm not sure just on sight but the ones that are sort of obviously female they are all in here and the ones that are obviously male are over in that other pen as far away as I can get them from all these girlies my blue egg layers no more eggs at the moment but they're all doing okay my poor one in here with the owies. Let's have a look at you. Hi. So still going in the right direction, looking pretty good. I did have a good close-up check of the wound and it looks as clean as you would hope it to be. So for now, I will just leave them in here and let them heal. Wait and see if we get any eggs. everybody it is Friday. Sparkle has decided to nest 
Now she has not been with a male, so I am certain there's no babies going to be in there. But she's going to be a good mummy when it's her turn, isn't it? Yeah, you're going to be a good mama. I get you some food. Collecting up the chick eggs, and look at this one. Beautiful. I wonder if that was. That's really pretty. Six chick eggs. Everyone's doing good. Everyone's hungry this morning. So make sure everything is nice and full. These guys, there's so many of them. <laughs> Everyone's good. Everyone's fed. Everyone's watered. Hi, Maui. Elsa. There's a cookie hiding in there. And there's Alex trying to break out. So yeah, everyone is good. I can leave you with two. Yeah, cutie. Good morning, it is Saturday, a very wet Saturday morning. Hey piggies, let's have a look in our beautiful girly hair sparkle. Goodness me, she's going to have no fur left on her body if she keeps this up. I can make an entire badit out of all this fluff, you know. She hasn't eaten much, which is quite common when they are either about to go into labour or their body tricks them into thinking they're about to go into labour. So. She won't need a top up, but the piggies do, so we'll sort that out. I'm going to fill up this bottle. Sparkle needs a top up, I think. Oh, I forgot my egg box. Which I can't find all the eggs in our fridge at the moment. My boys are doing okay. You've got one hiding at the top here. They have got a cover on the top to try and keep out some of the water, but they'll be okay in here for the time being. As you can hear, they're <laughs> Now my favourite baby rabbit is being the, I don't know, acrobat I suppose, climbing on everything. Cookie. Our next is in the little hutch here. Plants are looking very happy after the rain. Hey Elsa, how are you doing then, lovely? <laughs> so, open this right up. Is everyone fed and watered and then feed and water the children too. <laughs> that seems to be how I, my day goes. I just have to feed and water everyone. Let's check in with our injured quail. Still looking. As good as can be expected. Wound looks clean. So just time for healing. That's all that this one needs. By the looks of it, keep an eye out for any infections. Get that treated if necessary, but doing well. And we've got food, so we can leave them to it. The Italian quail need their space back, but they will be okay in here for now as long as we don't let them get out. <laughs> Not ideal, but they will be okay. Can't always do everything perfectly. Just have to do the best we can with what we've got. Okay. Remember I said how sweet Elsa is with everyone. Elsa and Cookie just munching their breakfast together. I'm not sure, maybe it's a um, Rex trait to be friendly and sweet. Because I have to say, it's the fl fluffy rabbits that um, have the temperament issues, shall we say. So perhaps, perhaps it is just the fact that she is a Rex and she's lovely. Thank you everyone for joining us this week. That's another week done on Mini Farm SM1. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like. If you'd like to see more videos, would you consider subscribing to the channel? It helps me. The more I can grow, the more I can show. Take care everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.